Hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 15. We're back on the American Outback map. We spent a little bit of time on our gifts of the caucus and uh, thought it was time we came back here and see what's going on. Well, actually, I was uh, just about at the point where I was going to grab a high power rifle and climb up the local church back there and start pinging off people. But, uh, that's another story. Yeah, I just, I, the amount of money they want for everything, it was just starting to go, oh my god. <laughs> you know, I've got this 50-year-old Russian equipment that I'm trying to make a living with here. And, uh, just to store my bales, you want, I'm sorry, what? $300,000. You know, a one-day tree license to go cut timber. $120,000. Uh, here I'm taking my homemade trailer all the way down to the port to try and unload a couple thousand dollars worth of goods so I can afford to buy fertilizer on the way home and fertilize my crops. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought we'd... Uh, go where there's uh, a little more than just a monetary concern. Uh, but all kidding aside, I really, really do like that other map, and I'm uh, anxious to see what sort of uh, economy unfolds as we get further into it. But uh, for the moment, as I said, I thought we'd come back here and see how things are going. Seemed like maybe it would be a good opportunity to... Uh, gather up a little grass for the sheep and the cattle and such. So I thought we'd do that. Yes, I know I'm using a very irregular method of mowing and windrowing, but what the heck. <laughs> there's a right way, there's a wrong way, and then there's my way, and, you know, <laughs> right or wrong, I'm gonna do it. Okay. This is a nice map, too, though. It really is. I won't have too many rows to have to pick up with the uh, forage wagon. Doing it this way. Seems to be working. I'm sure it's not the most efficient of things, but, hey, what can you do? And then it leaves that line, and that's got four or five rows worth of grass in it. And then we'll do the same here. Why not? <laughs> and then I can just simply take the wind rower once around the outside and clean all of that mess up. Right? Right. So let's get our next strip done. Do, 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 do. do hope everyone's doing well. That's uh Definitely spring in the air in this part of the world, I'll tell you. We've had some beautiful, beautiful days. In fact, I think later on today, I'm going to take the drone up for its first flight of the spring. Everything charging up. Fresh batteries for the controller. So, we'll see how that goes. I don't know that I'll do any filming today. I uh, need to get my wings back as it were. I see somebody had a uh, uh, what call it? Well, one of the high-end drones with uh, GPS and altitude hold and all of FPS and all that stuff. Um, yeah, flying it over just down the road from me there last evening when I went for a walk and uh, you could tell it had all those things on it because the guy was going just literally a couple of miles away from where he was flying it from um, effortlessly so 
to the point where I could no longer see it from the ground and I was closer to it than he was. So I have no doubts at all that without FPV he wouldn't have been able to see it at all, of course. So there you go. But I thought I'd take mine up for a little fly. And then once I get a little more used to it, I'll uh, maybe go down and find some more neat stuff to film. I think I heard the sea lions last night. If that's the case, I might have to uh, go down to the uh, mill pond and see if they're all there making happy happy on the rocks. Of course, last time I went down there, I wandered on my way over to uh, film a little baby sea lion that was puttering about and uh, <laughs> didn't happen to notice another one hiding in the rocks. So. Ended up getting myself chased for me troubles. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing because I'm a little bit hobbly. So. Alright, and that should pretty much do it. I've got one strip coming back. Pretty much do it for this. Our first meadow is all trim and tidy. Beautiful. this row over. I guess I can turn off the mower, actually. Oh no, I do have one more row left. That's right. I just don't have a makeup row on this side. Alrighty. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, even I can't say that. Keep a straight face. There we go. We'll push this row. Excuse me. Then, I'll tighten it up and we can go home. There we are. That's what I was trying to do. Ooh, are these going to be close enough? They're not. You suck. All right. Well, then I know what we're going to do. I'll turn them both on. And we'll simply do another row down here and drag this one over. Then at least it'll be worth having. Now, let's turn off the mower, raise that up out of the way, back up a little bit, and let's come to the outside and clean up the edge of our field here. Get rid of some of this mess. Not going to be able to catch the edges of that, but I will be able to get this jump down here in the end. And I replanted our field 12, the one right by the farm, in wheat. So that shouldn't give us any surprises. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> Just to make it confusing. There we go. Oh. oh, I'm still on the front, am I? All right. 
And with that said, we are out of here. I actually picked this field because this is the field that your equipment spawns in. If you reset a piece of gear, so, uh, oops. <laughs> when I reset the wind rower, it appeared here. So I grabbed the tractor and the mower, and da -da 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 -da, we're here. All right, now I've completely forgotten where this map and how it all works. Um, oh, okay. I actually, I'm just down around the corner. Awesome. Hop in our Maasai Ferguson and head down. Ooh, she's a bit filthy. Yeah, we could almost afford a pressure washer. <laughs> almost. Oh. They'd probably do a lot better around here if they'd update their train, you know? And I love how the gates open up long before the train's done. <laughs> it's like, hey, if you can't think for yourself, play with the train. Do 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 do. Oh, that was a nasty little frame lurch. Holy smokes. How are we doing here? There we go. And the mower goes down in the end one here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And lower it down. Drop it off. Perfect. Okay. Very nice. Now, here's a question. Do ooh, ooh, we actually have a forage wagon? <laughs> or, as far as that goes, anything at all to pick up grass? I don't recall. Do 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 nothing there. Now I do have the zip file for maintenance and repair installed. So, should that actually come up as a thing, we should be ready for it. Alright, just let me look on my uh, handy dandy catalog of goods and see. There it is, sure. We do so. So, where are you? Hmm. Fattened gusses, chickens, beasts. Oh, I see, we're going the wrong way here. Alright. Uh, oh, there you are, right there. Is there anything around you? No, eh? Where are you, anyway? At the shop? Oh, right down the other end of field 12, 13. Okay. So you're actually, uh... Just over here, somewhere. Let's go see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I see you. Did we fertilize this? Yeah, we did. That's right, because I lined up the machines in the one, uh, the one storage area that I had used. So now, I'm gonna get out here and find out that unless I'm capable of pulling you by hand, precisely. Oh, I see. I thought I was gonna cut this field. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, uh, help. That's, uh, not exactly handy. You get out of there, and then you can't get out of there. Hmm. We're gonna take the Wii forward. <laughs> now, there we go. Do -do -do -do. Cut 
through the grass. There we go. Where the heck is it? It turns out you're in absolutely the wrong place. So, we actually want you to be field 23. <laughs> so, let's get ourselves turned around out here in the grass. Obviously, I didn't have that thing in the right place, did I? <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I still have no idea. Uh, where or how that damage mod thing shows up. Well, I guess we'll figure it out at some point. Maybe if I slam face first into something like the train. <laughs> well, that's not it. It's, uh... I'm gonna find my way into that darn field again. There we go. then. There we go. Do, 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 do. Put that down. Light her on up. And here we go. Collecting the grass. Yeah, I figure the numbers go up pretty quick. Each of these rows has got at least a few rows of grass in it. So hopefully we'll get a decent sized trailer load off of this little field. Oh yeah. No problem, we're a third full now. outer row isn't going to be too enterprising. There was not a lot in it to start with. I think it's only a single. But we're getting there pretty quick. There you get more than a trailer full. Wow. Which is good because we can give some of it to the sheepies seeing as they're so close. these ones fell. <laughs> Alright. Well, that wind roller paid off. Okay. Let's go feed the sheep. The rest of it I will take back down to the main farm and uh, turn over to the cows. What they don't eat, well, we do have storage. So, 
Uh, I think we might want to go this way. Now, is that your water? I think that is your water, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's water. Okay. I'm coming, sheepies. I hear ya. There's your feed. Alrighty. Oh, you're waiting, are ya? Alright. There you go, Wooly. How much did you take? Eh, very freaking much. Oh well, I'll go fill the rest of that up, and then, uh, as I say, I'm going to take it back to the main farm. So, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. We'll spend uh, a few here on our American farm till we, uh, before we head back to Eastern Europe. So, if you liked the episode, please hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite. Do all those YouTube-y things. And, uh, well, till next time, this has been Species 7, working the American Outback Farm. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. Doo -doo -doo. Down go the pickup, on go the motor. <laughs>